You're back. Oui, I have returned. Well, I wasn't expecting to see you back here again. No? Well, it is a strange thing, but I am here on duty. On duty? But you're just sitting there drinking wine. No, I am not just drinking wine. I am under cover. I must be missing something. You're in uniform. Precisely, monsieur. My cover is that of an indolent, wine-guzzling police officer. You've got me convinced. Merci. But in re reality, my every muscle is poised, every nerve owned. I am drawn tight, ready to pounce. Pazang! Who or what were you planning to pazang on? You must have heard, m monsieur, of the terror that is gripping Paris. You mean the killings? Oh, at last, someone's taken action. <laughs> People die every day. No, no, I am on the trail of Sewer Jacques. I, uh... Who? Sewer Jacques, the terror of the subterranean city. He pops up here, he pops up there. The cops, they seek him everywhere. Is he so hush or beneath the neck? That damned elusive Sewer Jacques. Bravo, that's very good. Merci. I was up half the night writing that. Who is this Sewer Jacques character anyway? Ah, uh, if we but knew that, we could have him in custody in an hour. But he is cunning to despoil the sewers of our fair city. He has co committed many deceptions. He has pretended to be a police officer and deluded a poor war veteran. Uh-oh. He has pretended to be a jongleur. Wow, is that the time? And an American tourist. What nationality are you, monsieur? Canadian. Well, uh, gotta go now. See ya. Well, it's not everyone who can say they started an urban myth. In French, English, and German, it read, In 1312, Pope Clement V dissolved the knightly order of the Templars and excommunicated its members on charges of heresy. In the following two years, many of the knights were hanged on this site. Their Grand Master, Jacques de Molay, was burnt at the stake on an island in the Seine. Uh, excuse me, Father. Pardon? Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all, Monsieur. It will be my pleasure to help you. How long have you worked here? Hardly work, Monsieur. This is a calling. I have been helping Father Flambert for nearly six months now. I guess you don't know much about the history of this church, then. Just a little. You've got quite a shine on that candlestick. Ah, oui. Anything less than best would be an insult to the Almighty. I guess so. I never thought of it like that. What do you know about the Knights Templar? You have come to the right place, if that is your interest. Many of them were executed in the square outside. It was a disgrace to France. Well, the Pope was right behind it, though. Clement V was a man of mammon, not of God. That's kind of forthright for a priest, isn't it? You think so? It is hard to be sure what happened. It is so long ago. You must be proud to have such an incredible collection of stained glass. Pride is a sin, monsieur. But it is hard not to marvel when the light shines through them. It is a fine example of the artisan's genius. What do you make of this chalice? It uh, certainly looks very old. About as old as this church, I think. There seems to be an engraving on it. Yeah? What does it say? I do not know. It is very tarnished. With your permission, uh, I could try polishing it. Uh, I promise I will be very careful.
That'd be very good of you. This uh, shouldn't take very long. Feel free to look around. Okay, thanks. I didn't have time to sit around. A knight, there in the company of his fellows. Biblical references engraved into the tomb edge to guide his way to the next world. I guess. I didn't recognize the biblical story in it. I was a Sunday school dropout. A stone knight lay in full stone armor, blank eyes looking at the ceiling. Carrying all that armor around must have been hard work. A stone knight lay at the end of a row of four. I wondered if this guy had died in combat. I didn't recognize the biblical story. In comparison to its neighbor, it looked pretty plain. Somehow, it looked more modern than its neighbor. On the end of the staff was some kind of disc with a cross on it. Around the base of the disc was a hairline crack. The lens fitted into the end of the scroll like a hand into a glove. Per disciplinum meum lux vedebus. Hey! a date in Roman numerals. A Knight Templar burning at the stake and a date. Let me see. M C C C X I V. That's 1314. Hey, thanks. It is my pleasure, monsieur. What was the writing on the chalice? It was not writing. Uh, my mistake. It was a coat of arms. The remarkable thing is that it seems very familiar. Yeah? Oui. I think I have seen it on that wool tomb in the far corner. That winged horse is quite distinctive. Do you speak Latin? You ask this of a priest? Okay. Can you tell me what per disciplinum meum lux vedebus means? Let me see. That would be uh, by my teachings you will see the light. I think. Yeah, that's what I thought too. I noticed that the stained glass window on the left looks more modern than the middle one. You have a keen eye, monsieur. The original window was destroyed in the last war. It was as old as the church, early 14th century. Oh, man, that's awful. Oui, a terrible loss. Still, the church and the other windows survived. Catch you later. Au revoir, monsieur. Now that my attention had been drawn to it, there was no mistake. 
there was no name on it, but the coat of arms was undeniably the Pegasus of the De Vasconcellos family. I'd found the last resting place of Don Carlos. My eye was drawn to the biblical references carved into the edge of the tomb. Hey, maybe these biblical references mean something. Psalms 22:21. Not much to go on, but it must have meant something. If I examined the tomb more closely, there might be other clues to find. John 4:11. Psalms 32:7. The numbers referred to a chapter and a verse in the Bible. But a series of Roman numerals ran around the plaque. I made a note in case they meant something. Psalms 32.7, John 4.11, Corinthians 1, 4, 5, and just one more, Psalms 22.21. I may not be perfect, but I've got a memory like a steel trap. The chalice had led me to these inscriptions, but it looked like a happy coincidence to me. After all, the de Vasconcellos arms were already on the manuscript. Nope, I was still convinced that the chalice had some significance all of its own. Hi, André. Hello, Georgie. While I was in Syria, I discovered a strange pagan statue. It was like a head with three bearded faces. Horrible. That sounds as if it could be Baphomet, the idol described by the Templars. The poor Knights of Christ had an idol that looked like that? Allegedly. The description of the idol came from the evidence extracted by the Inquisition. Mind you. Not one statue or idol was ever found on Templar property. Until now, that is. Just last month, a statue of Baphomet was unearthed right here in Paris. Where? At the Institut Hermétique de Naval. The statue is beneath the foundation. It was discovered by some workmen while renovating the building. Can you tell me any more about the statue of Baphomet? It's a fearful image, even now. A bearded head. The base of the statue is carved with Templar symbols. One of the workmen noticed a curious stain at the base. He claimed it looked like blood. Blood? That's right. Thanks for your help, André. You're welcome. Excuse me, could you help me? What is it? I've got a few questions. You're doing a fine job. Merci. I have my professional pride. I don't think I've ever seen a Galois smoke so stylishly. It's a natural talent. I'm being sarcastic. I'm being indifferent. You're very good at that as well. Merci. Vive l'indifférence. So, what are you doing here? I am having my break. Yeah, I mean, when you finish your break. Oh, when I finish my break? An interesting concept, monsieur. You'll probably need to think about it. Mm, I could have another cigarette while I consider. Perhaps tomorrow, too? Okay, let me put things differently. What were you hired to do here? 
I was hired to keep the archaeological dig in the basement of this building clear of debris and to touch up damage to the door frames with my little pot of paint. It's a very responsible job. Unfortunately, I'm not a very responsible person. So what do you know about the excavation? I know they won't let me in to do my job. I would complain to my union, but uh, la. You couldn't be bothered to join. Right. Tell you what, though, I'm surprised at the sort of people interested in this uh, excavation. What's unusual about the visitors to the excavation? <laughs> None of them look like archaeologists to me. Do you know what an archaeologist looks like? Sweepy suits, crocodile-eyed attaché cases, Rolex oyster. But no archaeologist dresses like that. Quite right, monsieur, quite right. So, who are they? Who cares as long as they pay me? What does the word Templar suggest to you? Templar? Mm, nothing. Nothing. Have you seen this man before? Yes. He asked me a lot of questions, just like you. Be seeing you. Au revoir, monsieur. A thermostat was mounted over a radiator. The radiator was pumping out heat as the thermostat was cranked right over to full. No wonder it was warm in here, even with the door open to the chill of fall. Hi? Uh, excuse me? Oui? So, what exactly are you doing here? I'm guarding. You expect to find me sharing sheep? Take it easy, I just didn't realize you were a guard. I'd like to know what you're guarding, please. That's a secret. It wouldn't happen to be an archaeological site, would it? Are you asking me or telling me? I'm telling you. Then why ask? I had a feeling this was no normal hole in the ground. It sure is hot in here. I have to have the door open to allow the workmen access, so why not? I turn the heat up. You could wrap up warm. I have my gloves if it gets cold, but why bother when it's warm anyway? What do you know about the Knights Templar? There was a long pause during which the guard said nothing. Then he said, Nothing. Nothing at all? Is this a test? What, like a history pop test? No, like a... test. Okay, yes, it's a test. Then I know absolutely nothing about the Templars. Talk to you later. Au revoir, monsieur. There was a closed door with toilet scratched into the cheap veneer. That door's locked, monsieur. Hi again. What is it? The guard was being amazingly evasive. It was going to take more than goodwill to get past him. I'd like to use the washroom, but the door's locked. Oh, that's no problem. You can have the key. Thanks. The door was locked. Perhaps I could make a copy of the key. The key had made a clear imprint in the soap. The bar of soap had the imprint of a key in it. I knew keeping that plaster was a good idea. With the plaster and the imprint, I was on the right lines. I had filled the key's imprint in the soap with dry plaster. You can't make a cast without wetting the plaster. But wet plaster alone does not make a cast. I used the dryer to speed up the process.
Well, it had taken a while, but I had made myself a completely unconvincing plaster key. Way too fragile to use in a lock. I'd have to substitute it for the real one. Trouble was, it looked like plaster and not metal. Then again, that plaster statue in Syria hadn't looked like stone until I'd been a bit artful with it. Maybe I could improve the key as well. Hi again. What is it? Here's the keys. Thanks. Merci, monsieur. Talk to you later. Au revoir, monsieur. Hey, monsieur. Get away from my paint pot. Okay. I should think so. Meddling with a man's paint pot. Puh. Do you mind if I use the phone? Be my guest. I'm paid to guard this door. The phone can look after itself. Hi, Nico. George, what have you discovered? Nothing yet. Nothing? Is, is something wrong? No. George, why are you calling me? Oh, no reason. I just wanted to hear your voice. You did? Well, this is my voice saying, don't bother me, I'm busy. Oh. Hi, it's me again. What now? Be seeing you. Au revoir, monsieur. Hmm. Gunmetal paint. Interesting. Hey, monsieur. Get away from my paint pot. Okay. I should think so. Meddling with a man's paint pot. Puh. Cooler. Hello, Nico. It's me. Hi, George. What's happening? I'm at the excavation, but they won't let me in. Damn. We need to know what's in there. Don't worry. I've got a scheme. I'm going to need your help, though. Okay. What do you want me to do? I want you to keep somebody on the phone for a while. Who? A painter. I need to get at his pot. Oh, okay. Stay on the line. I'll go and get him. Hi, it's me again. What now? You've got a phone call. For me? Are you certain? It's a woman. She sounded hot. What woman? She must be mistaken, monsieur. Well, she asked for that hunk of a man with the nicotine fingers and his ass hanging out of his pants. Certainly sounds like me. Stand back. It wouldn't do to keep the lady from uh, her hunk. Well, monsieur, what a strange woman. She was all over me, and then suddenly, nothing but abuse. Really? What? Abuse? Ah, well, I have a cigarette to finish. And monsieur, if she calls again, I am not available. Hi again. What is it? I need to use the, uh, toilet again. Again? 
Already? I have this problem. <laughs> How technical do you want me to get? Hmm, never mind. Here's the key. The door was locked. Now, I'd substituted the fake key for the excavation key. It looked okay, but felt false. I turned the heating off. As I'd hoped, the guard put his gloves on. Hi again. What is it? I held my breath and hoped that he wouldn't notice the substitution. Here's the keys. Uh, thanks. Merci, monsieur. Talk to you later. Au revoir, monsieur. Hi, Nico. It's me again. I'd guessed. What do you want this time? What did you say to the painter? I shan't repeat it, George. Look, I need to get the guard out of the way. Could you call back and ask him to get the painter again? Okay, I'll call back soon. This looked like a good place to watch things develop. Hey, you! It's the phone! Yeah, who is it? How should I know? What am I? Your social secretary? It's not a chick, is it? Yes, it's a woman. Are you going to answer it? Does she have a warm, sensual voice like molten chocolate? Yes, yes, she has a really sexy voice. Now get a move on! I'm not talking to her. I can see that. You're wasting time talking to me. No, you don't understand. I refuse to talk to her. You refuse? You refuse? I'm wasting valuable time. Don't make me laugh. Your time valuable? You just stand around all day? I have a highly responsible job. Ha! Don't ha, me, you elephantine oaf. My job is important. Impossible. They would have hired somebody competent in that case. Meaning what? Instead of which they hired a dismal rent a cop like you. All epaulette and no brains. Why you? This looked set to carry on for some time. It was too good an opportunity to miss. There was no doubt about it. It was the same sort of idol I'd seen in Syria. Baphomet. The Templars had certainly been through here. Close up, the pattern didn't make any sort of sense. It fanned out around an axis point, a kind of focus to one side. I found out what the chalice was for. You've solved the puzzle? Yeah. There was a distorted picture at the Baphomet site. When I viewed it in the polished surface of the chalice, 
it changed. What did it show? A picture of a church with a square tower. I guess I'd better return the chalice to the Countess. Hurry back, Josh.